tutorial is one in a series of videos that I'm doing on Tom Bin's Pearls and Peril inspired jewelry. This one is for the necklace that I'm wearing and it is delicate little pearls with a little bit of attitude. I made all the barbed wire details out of gold head pins so it takes a little bit longer than the other pieces that only have safety pins but it's completely worth it. For this you will need some beading wire. I found this gold wire at Michael's for somewhere around $4 for the entire spool. You will need of course your faux pearls. I'm sure you could use real pearls but why would you? Um, you can buy a couple of strings of these. I'm probably going to use maybe three strings worth if you bought them in the store. They'd probably be about 99 cents for a string of them. I also have two that are slightly smaller than the main ones I'm going to use. You don't need those, but it adds a nice touch if the two end pearls are smaller. You will need a lobster clasp, a large jump ring, two smaller jump rings, although you could use the same size jump rings. The lobster clasp and large jump ring I got in this pack, which also has the head pins I'm going to be using. And this entire pack comes with fish hooks, clasps, um, the head pins, the eye pins, all of those sorts of things, and it was $3 for the entire thing, so that's a pretty good deal. And I'm using them in other projects in this series. You will need either a pair of pliers with wire cutters or actual wire cutters. Actual wire cutters are sturdier, so I recommend using those if you have them. You will need two end crimps to go on your wire, and this is the type of end crimp that has the little cup with the hole through it and the knot on your wire just sits inside the clasp. So two of those and then something to wrap your head pins or eye pins around that is going to make the loop in the center roughly half the size of the pearls you're using. So a needle is too narrow, I'm using this precision screwdriver, but you can use anything that's sturdy and is going to give you the right size. The first thing you're going to do is make as many of your little barbed wire details as you can stand. So you're going to want to wrap it around whatever tool you're using and as you coil it, try and get your coils as close together as possible. If you need to use your pliers to kind of pinch them in as you go, you can do that, but you'll get better at it as you go along. Just wrap it three or four times around, depending on what kind of look you prefer. I think I'm gonna wrap this four times. And you're going to end up with something kind of like that. You want these to be sticking out almost at a right angle, so you're making sort of a corner in there. And you just slide that off of the tool that you're using. And try and position this so that as you make them, all you're going to have to do is cut off either the head on your um, pin or the eye of the pin, depending on what you're using. And you're not going to have to keep doing extra cuts to get them the right length. And once you cut them, check out how they look compared to the pearls you're using. You might not want them to stick out too far, especially if you're cutting them and you're ending up leaving rough edges on here. The edges that come with the eye pin aren't going to be too rough, but you can just eyeball it. And if you were unhappy with the length of them, you can always go back and trim them all shorter at the end. But from here, you're just going to make as many of these as you can stand. Once you think you have enough of your barbed wire pieces, you'll want to take your beading wire and then measure around your neck to the length that you think you need your necklace to be. Then add three or four inches so you have enough to work with and cut your wire. Next, tie a knot in the end of your beading wire as close to the end as possible. And once you've tightened that one up, tie a second knot over it so you have a larger knot. Next, you'll want to thread the opposite end of your beading wire through one of your end crimps so that the knot is going to sit inside the cup of the end crimp. You'll need to trim the excess wire and then pinch the end crimp shut. You'll also want to adjust the hook at the end of the end crimp. Now you can start adding your pearls. Since I have the two small pearls, I'm going to put one of them on first, but like I said, if you only have one size, you can just start threading them. So I've done one of my small ones, now I'm going to add a large pearl. And then I'm going to alternate the pearls with the barbed wire pieces. Beautiful. 
So now that I've strung my necklace to almost the size that I want it, I have my extra little pearl here, and I ended up using up almost all the head pins in the bag. I think there are six left that I didn't use, so it took quite a bit of twisting and cutting, but it looks like it's worth it. So I've put my last bead on, and then I'm going to add in my end crimp. And I'm going to tie this knot and try and shimmy it down as close to the inside of that cup as I possibly can. And the easiest way I found to do that is to pick the necklace almost completely up. And that will give me as much extra space as possible. And I can get it really close in there. And I'm also going to stick this pair of pliers, or I could even stick my um, precision tool that I've been wrapping that thing around, and just kind of wrap the knot around it and coax it down into that little space there. Then I'll take my pliers and pull it tight against them. So I've got my first knot and then I'm going to tie a second one over that one to make sure that everything stays really secure. And again, I'm going to pull that against my pliers trying to get that knot good and tight. And then I'll go in and cut the excess wire pretty close in there. Take my pliers and close up that end crimp around the knot. And then I'll close up the loop on the end crimp Next, I'm going to take one of my small jump rings, put it through one end, and then attach the large jump ring to that, so that will give me something to hook into. Then take the other small jump ring, open that, put that in the other end of my necklace, and attach the clasp to that one. And that is my finished necklace. From